And today, a resident Orthodox rabbi at Columbia Barnard, Eli Buchler, put out a statement telling students it has become clear that Columbia University's public safety and the NYPD cannot, quote, guarantee Jewish students' safety in the face of extreme anti-Semitism and anar anarchy. It deeply pains me to say that I would strongly recommend you return home as soon as possible and remain home until the reality in and around campus has dramatically improved. It is not a job as Jews to ensure our own safety on campus. And he continued, no one should have to endure this level of hatred, let alone at school. Well, joining us now is Shai Davidai, a assistant professor at the management division at Columbia Business School. And he was, I would say, among the, if not the first, soon after October 7th, to point out publicly the problems there at Columbia University and has been speaking out against them. Uh, and Shai, thank you for joining us. Well, we heard what the rabbi said, and I also saw a message from you today. Maybe you could uh, tell our viewers about the actions you intend to take uh, tomorrow uh, in the light of what's happening at Columbia University. Right, so first of all, thank you for having me. This is an important topic. This is not just about Columbia. This is every U.S. college, bear. they have said that they are going to bring down Columbia first, and then as a domino effect, we'll have all other universities. But I wanna make clear one thing before I talk about my own actions. What we're seeing now at Columbia, and I don't use this word lightly, we're not seeing ideological war, we're not seeing support for terrorism. We are seeing terrorism. Last night, we had at Columbia a protester, one of the protesters in the student mob holding a sign calling the Al Qassam Brigade, the Hamas military wing, to kill Jewish students with a with a with a with a arrow pointing at the Jewish students that were standing there. Right? We are seeing Hamas on campus. And this makes President Minou Shafiq a Hamas supporter. Every minute that she does not call let in the NYPD because she's not letting them in. That's why you see the NYPD outside and the terrorists inside. We've had the leader of the domestic terrorist organization within our lifetime. They had a wedding for her yesterday inside. She snuck in. You see the video you're showing right now? There is a suspended student, the one with the bullhorn. That's a suspended. They've been suspended for two and a half weeks. They're a radical organizer that brought in a PFLP terrorist to campus. They were supposed to be suspended from campus. President Minou Shafiq supports Hamas. President Minou Shafiq supports Islamic Jihad because every minute that she doesn't let the NYPD clear out these terrorists from campus, she's a terrorist supporter. And I stand by my words. All right. Now tell us about your the message you put out today. Uh, and I guess you're going to, you're going you're not, it's not just words alone to take action to prove your point. Yes. Tomorrow morning, I have emailed the university. And I've told them that I'm an employee, I'm an Israeli employee, I'm a Jewish employee, and I deserve to feel safe on campus. So I'm going to go there tomorrow morning and I call, I'm gonna go with Jewish students and anyone who wants to join me, and I'm gonna sit peacefully inside the so-called liberated zone where the terrorists are hiding. And Columbia University, my safety, my personal safety is in your hands. So you must let the NYPD come in. I need at least 10 NYPD uh, officers, public safety will not help. I need NYPD officers or the National Guard feel safe to go to my own employment place. So I will call everyone. No one engage, no one provoke, but come stand with me if you're a Columbia student, alum, uh, if you're a faculty, if you're a staff, it doesn't matter if you're Jewish or not. You deserve to have safety on your campus. I will be walking there. And don't be fooled by these images of the police clearing them up on Thursday. This was a media hoax by President Minou Shafiq. They, they arrested 108 students. They, they booked them for trespassing. And like the New York system of turnstile, two hours later, they were back on campus. This has been going on for five days. This blatant open support for Hamas on U.S. campus. You see Cornell West, what you see now, he is not a Columbia student. He's not a Columbia faculty. He's not supposed to be let in. They are letting the terrorists and their supporters in and are keeping the NYPD out. Tomorrow, I am going to be marching in and I need, I need police escort. If something happens to me, it's on the hands of President Minou Shafiq, the COO, Cass Holloway, the general counsel, Felice Rosen, the senior vice president, um, 
Jerry Rosberg, the co-chairs of the trustees, Melissa Chapman, uh, sorry, um, uh, I forget her name, she was at the uh, congressional hearing, and David Greenwald, and the head of the anti-Semitism uh, test, test, anti Task Force, David Schitzer. All of you went to went to Congress to uh, make a media hoax out of this. This is not a game. Well, let me let me ask you about let me let me ask you about let me ask you about that because President, you mentioned Manu Shafika a couple of times. Uh, she obviously prepared very carefully in light of what happened in the previous she hearings. Not, she prepared. She prepared to lie. She lied under oath. Represented Stef uh, Stefanik caught her under oath lying. She said, are you willing to change your testimony? She lied about Joseph Mossad not being chair. He is chair. She lied about Dr. Muhammad Abdu, the guy that said that he supports Hamas and he's part of Hamas. She lied he's been terminated. He is in the illegal encampment. She lied about an investigation that I that against me as if I harass students. The investigation against me is a social media investigation. They're investigating me for speaking up against terrorism. She lied under oath. She needs to be fired, and she needs to be put on trial because she's personally responsible for what's happening. Right. Uh, Shai, uh, you're making it clear, and you're speaking to the administration there, and also the authorities in New York. I wonder what your message is uh, on this also to the American, greater American Jewish community, uh, to some, uh, to the uh, uh, administration in Washington, and maybe also to some of us in here in, are in Israel who are, are watching what's happening uh, and maybe not fully understanding what is at stake there at the universities in the U.S. Because, of course, eventually these things will bleed into the greater uh, attitudes towards Israel and Jews in the United States. So first of all, before I send my message to the American people, I want to send my message to the Jewish students at Columbia and all their parents. I have your back. I know it's scary. I, I, if you need anything, contact me or, you know, reach, don't, the administration is not there for you and you know it and I know it. Reach out to Rabbi Yuda from Chabad, reach out to Brian Cohen from Hillel and reach out to me. We have your back. Now, for the American people, you have to understand this is not about the Jews. This is not about Israel. They are shouting down with the United States. They are burning American flags. They are cheering on Hamas and the Islamic Jihad, who right now in Gaza have three U.S. citizens held hostage. I just had a conversation with one of those uh, hostages' dad, uh, um, so Idan Alexander, who uh, his son, 20-year-old, grew up in Teaneck, New Jersey, and he's being held hostage by Hamas, and the student mobs at Columbia and the professors that support Hamas at Columbia are cheering on his captivators and are denying him his inalienable right to, to uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So Americans, this is not about Israel. This is terrorism. The war on terror has gotten to U.S. campuses. And if you don't wake up, when you do want to wake up and speak up, it will be too late. Now is the time to call your representatives and say enough is enough. We can disagree about war. We can have civil arguments about how to fight in Gaza, but we cannot have terrorists on campus and we cannot have anti-Semitism or any form of racism on campus. Uh, and let, me, let me just ask you uh, the reactions that you're getting. Just in fact, even just now today, you have to put, you put your message on about uh, that you're planning to go out into that uh, encampment uh, tomorrow. What kind of reactions you're getting, both for and against? Or even more, when I say against, I may be under, understating matters a little bit. I'll tell you the, the, the most important reaction I didn't get. I haven't gotten a reply from the university yet. President Minou Shafiq, I emailed her. General Counsel, I emailed, I emailed her. The COO, I emailed them. They have not yet responded to my plea for protection for tomorrow morning. The Jewish community is freaking out. I am getting hundreds of messages. I just came back from a march for the hostages. People are scared. People don't know what to do. The students don't know how to move away from campus because they're afraid to walk through campus. This is happening not in Kabul, not in Rafa. This is happening in New York City, the city that prevailed 9-11. And now, instead of airplanes, they're bringing it with foot soldiers. But this is the war, the war on terror. All right, uh, Professor Shai Davidai, thank you for joining us. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, please uh, take care. 
uh, and whatever precautions uh, you may need to uh, there. It's almost, it's, I'm a native New Yorker, so for me to be saying this, to take care when you're going out to the uh, campus green at Columbia University, which was always a, uh, an island of, for those who know New Yorkers know, that is an island of tranquility in the uh, island of Manhattan. And to think about it becoming, as you say, a literal battleground, it's just it's shocking to even think about. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.